Hey guys, it's Harry the Red Bagnall Engine here, and welcome back to another review video. Now this review video is actually going to be a little different, because instead of reviewing a TV show or a movie, we are instead going to be reviewing a character crossover from my good friend Jamie Davison. And, it, and this crossover we are reviewing is called Brum and the Number One Engine. That is what we are going to be reviewing today. Now, like I always say, to any of you who have maybe seen this short, this this crossover, if you don't like it, I respect your opinion, but you must respect mine in return. But without further ado, let's get right into it, shall we? So, Brum and the Number One Engine. Oh my god, this this crossover is honestly one of the best things that's ever been created like seriously this crossover is really 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 good basically what happens in, in this brum visits the island of sodor on a holiday and as he's driving round he he drives up to knapford station and there he meets thomas the tank engine Brum and Thomas introduced themselves to each other and and then go but suddenly Gordon comes in and starts being rude like he normally would until he realize until he dashes off thinking he's gonna be late with the express. And then Thomas just laughs after that. When Thomas gets back to the shed, he tells Percy about Brum. Percy is interested to meet him. So now, I am going to talk about the things that I really like about this crossover, and maybe one, and one thing that I don't really like about it. But just to let you know, Jamie Davison, it's not negative criticism; it's constructive. Okay, so don't worry. So don't so don't worry about it being offending anybody. Just to let you know. One thing that I really, really, really like about about this short crossover is actually with the story. Th Thomas crossing over with Brum is a really, really good idea. And I honestly think that it's something that could happen if it was done right. But sadly, it's something that I don't think will ever happen. But honestly, Jamie... Having that idea of Brum meeting Thomas is incredible. It's a very good idea. If I had to choose one thing that I don't like about this this short, it would actually be the AI voice that Percy had. Obviously, Jamie, this wasn't your fault. This wasn't your fault, don't worry. But I feel that the AI voice for Percy didn't really sound anything like him. The Thomas one, absolutely incredible. What an impressive AI voice. But the AI voice for Percy, yeah, in my opinion, it just didn't sound anything like him. But if you guys disagree with me, that's absolutely fine. And also, and obviously, Jamie, just know that I am not viewing it negatively. So don't worry. Alright then, guys, that brings us to the end of another review video. Sorry if this one was a little short. And sorry again for all the stuttering. And also, just before I sign off, I would like to give a shout out to my good friend Jamie Davison who actually requested me to do this video. So Jamie, thanks for requesting this video and I'm happy to view any any video that you do anytime. If you want me to review something you've done, just ask me in the comment section and I will be happy to review it. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video and if you are new to the channel, then hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the notification bell where you will receive all notifications. But for now, this is Harry, the Red Bagnall Engine, signing off. Peace out everyone and see you next time.